Oh, now in bed watching the Oscars and got some room service. This little thing here, 25 bucks. <laughs> but it's worth it because we need to be back here to watch uh, Eminem do the halftime <laughs> show. And that's not a halftime show, huh? <laughs> what is it? What would you call this? It's just the a music performance. Music performance. <laughs> Why are you hiding in there? Where'd have been all the videos? She was just like, you only saw the top half of her face like that. That'd actually be really funny. <laughs> I'd be like that one guy from Home Improvement. Though. Yeah, the guy that just like peeks over the fence like this. <laughs> so it's time for the best cinematographer. It's gotta be Roger Deakins for 1917. Have you seen 1917? Oh my God. But here he goes. 1917, here he goes. Roger Deakins. Yup. He totally deserved that one. Like that's the only one where it's like, oh yeah, he's definitely gonna win it. Like best picture? I don't know. I think it's kind of up in the air. What? Oh my God. Guess who won best picture? What? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Guess who won best picture? Is there Asian people on stage? There's a bunch of Asian people on stage. <laughs> wow. There's the guy from the, well, I don't want to give any spoilers, but look, he looks so different. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, it was a great film. I honestly just was not expecting it to win. A non-American film. Won the Oscars. I mean, I think that's great. But anyways, gotta head to the airport early tomorrow, so gonna go to sleep, but see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is time to check out of here. Never forget to do your one final sweep as you're leaving the door. Always look at the outlets, every corner. We're so used to LAX where it's chaos. So whenever we come to one of these small airports, it's such a breeze. You could probably get into the airport like an hour before your flight and comfortably make it through. Happy to be home? I'm so happy to be home. Oh yes. Yeah, I don't care where you go or how awesome the trip is, best part is always coming home. Hey, hey buddies. Are you happy to see me, Peter? Back in Los Angeles and I'm trying out a new camera here. This is the Sony a6600. I'm giving this a little whirl. I'm making a video about the camera. So figured I'll use it as the vlog camera for right now probably sounds not so good I'm just using the onboard microphone but hey maybe it sounds pretty good what I really want to know is how the stability out of this is right now hey chicky how you doing anyways we're cruising around looking for locations to film some stuff we're filming with this thing and it's actually a video about you know making videos fully in 360 specifically for VR goggles so I don't know maybe one of these vlogs I'll just shoot in 360 so that instead of you know being locked on to me right now you'd be able to like look around and see the environment I don't know that could be a cool little vlog idea there anyways we're gonna do a little bit of filming for the main channel so How's this camera looking? Is it better, sharper? We're filming in 4K. The lens isn't as wide as I'm used to, but uh, let's see how this goes. Ooh, okay, this is something I ordered. I'm kind of excited about it. It's actually a cage for this camera. So that will allow me to attach a few more things onto it. SD memory cards. I just can't have enough of these. What is this? Stable lens allows you to swap lenses in the field without having to rebalance your gimbal. This is a cinematographer's kit, which is 149 bucks see what's in here. It comes with these rubber rings and a whole bunch of these weights. And I guess what you're supposed to do is balance your heaviest lens and then all the smaller lenses you can balance with this ring on there, essentially making your lighter lenses heavier so that when you go to switch out lenses, when you put on the light one, it doesn't require a whole new rebalance. So I don't know, the idea seems pretty cool. Maybe I'll test these out, see if I like them. Stable lens, I think they're a startup company. So I don't know, what do you guys think of the idea? I think it's pretty cool. I could definitely see it taking some time to set up up all your lenses but if you're doing a shoot and you want to switch out lenses quickly it's kind of cool because when a camera's on a gimbal I hate rebalancing every time I switch out a lens so this could be a really good idea what do you guys think good idea bad idea hello again mr. potato and friends hey that's you that's me yeah. I'm friends you're friends <laughs> one of the hardest parts of filming is just trying to find good locations one obviously a place that looks nice but also without a ton of helicopters flying around like we're having right now and also a lot of wind so there's always challenges to finding cool spots to film in but whenever you find a good spot it's always like yeah I think we found a pretty good one here Sam you look so official <laughs> Do I? Do I look like I know what I'm doing because I don't? Last time I was wearing that, you called me Scorpion Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a nice little view of the Hollywood sign over there. Let's test out the zoom on this thing. 18 to 135. Ooh. Dang, the zoom on this thing is pretty good. 18 
to 135. Yeah, I don't really feel like vlogging today, so let's cut to tomorrow. Got a little cage for the A6600. That's neat, it comes with a little screwdriver that sticks on there magnetically. Now this is gonna make the camera a little more vlog friendly because now the microphone's not gonna be right up here covering this monitor. I can mount it off here to the side or even over here. There we go, that helps a lot. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. Oh yeah. Favorite date night activity. Eating Ordering pizza. pizza. Plan for today is to go mountain biking. Apparently this is gonna make it much easier for me to transport a bunch of bicycles with a pickup truck. Let's give it a shot. So we finished up our mountain biking ride and uh, all went really well, except for one part. Oh no, Carrie, you okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? Oh no, you okay, oh, you okay, you okay, hold on, you okay, you okay, hold on. Hey, sh that's what happens. <laughs> Man, I'm just going back through some of this footage and I realized that the audio out of this microphone was peaking, so sorry about that. But yeah, I wanna try a different lens now. This is the 28 to 75 f 2.8. It's a Tamron, pretty solid lens. And there we go, that's probably actually a little bit too close to my face, huh? It's a 28 millimeter on an APS-C size sensor, so I guess that kinda of makes sense. Well, I was planning on shooting the rest of this vlog on the Sony a6600, but I, I just don't have the right lenses for it right now, so I think I'm gonna switch back to this. I don't know what it is. It's like, I just feel much more comfortable with the EOS R. Probably because I just have hundreds and hundreds of hours shooting on this thing. But here, let me switch back. And we're back to the Canon. Man, 15 millimeter F 2.8. I am still planning on doing more testing with this. So let me know down in the comments what you want me to kind of go over and test with this. It's only been a few days since I vlogged with this camera, but I'm like, I missed you. Canon does something very well where it's just like very easy and pleasant. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I, maybe that's just my perspective because I've always been a Canon shooter, but I bet Sony shooters are always like, what is up with this Canon camera? It's so weird. I don't know. <laughs> so we got this thing called a Stead XP and Sam's been working all day trying to figure this thing out and no luck. It's just not user friendly, man. What, it doesn't just do what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cool idea because there's a gyroscope in here and it records the gyro data. So you'd actually put this in the hot shoe or cold shoe of a camera and you record and as the camera moves, this records the gyro data and then afterwards, you're supposed to be able to sync it and make it all smooth. I used it on some like test footage that they recommend you try first and it worked amazingly, beautiful, super steady. Then when I used it, it's just, kind of like dancing around. Look, look at that. Oh, like, what is, okay. Look, what, what? The gyro data seems way off from the actual data. I wanted to put the video out on this thing this week, but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. We're gonna email them and try to see if we can figure this out. But it'd be cool if we could get it to work because the idea seems nice. It's just not easy yet. Sam, you just brought us to a children's <laughs> playground. <laughs> it looks cooler in the pictures. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what would be cool is if we could get like a train station in the background and here, here's a little train station right there. You looks like a toy. <laughs> you did say little train station. <laughs> you wanna go to the next spot? Yeah. Let's go. Good. This is more like it. Look at this view. This is pretty epic, huh? But with a small hike, we're supposed to be able to find a swing. So let's go look for it. Now after this long treacherous hike, well, actually it was only like two minutes, but it was still steep, sort of. We made it to the swing. This place is actually awesome. You know what we need to start doing? Is every week we need to go on a location scouting mission, discover the city more. Like I thought I knew LA pretty well, but I've never been to this spot. Man, this swing right here, Instagrammer's dream, huh? Let's read some comments to wrap up this video. Gene says, we'll definitely need an ice scraper later. Also, Gene, how do I get rid of this ice? Yeah, I'm not used to snow. <laughs> For us Californians, it's always fun to see snow because it's like you see it and you go, wow, this is like the scene in the movies where it's all snowy, how cool. But once you have to wake up early and like scrape snow off your car to yeah. get going, it's like, oh yeah, I can see why people hate this. Gene says, I now pronounce you husband while looking at the wife and wife. It looks at the husband. I noticed Wait, you, I did, you that. did that. Yeah, I was like, I now pronounce you husband, but then I realized I looked at Jess and I was like, oh wait, but I don't want to look at Jess through the whole thing. So then I said, <laughs> and wife, and I looked at Zach and I was, I was like, oh man, I screwed that up. I was like, I don't think anyone will notice. Apparently 94 people and counting well, have noticed. <laughs> well, I think it was more, you were letting Jess know he's now your husband, you know, like that's, you're looking yes, at Yes, that's exactly and what was going through my mind. Wife. Carrie looks miserable after returning to the car from Denny's. You were miserable, There's huh? a lot of truth in that. <laughs> oh, look at that. You look like you're about to cry. More sad there than you did after you fell off the mountain bike. <laughs>
Everyone's asking how you're doing, by the way. Jonathan Aww. texted me like, oh my God. He messaged me too. It was so yeah. He was like, I just want to check in. And, Hope you're feeling okay. And uh, YouTuber iPhoneDo, if you guys watch him, he DM'd me. It was like, oh, that, that turned bad real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what makes it funny is that it was like such a beautiful like shot there. Like it was so pretty and then it just went so bad so quick. Did you hear the bell? As it crashed, it went ding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny looking back on it, but in the moment it was not fun. Anyways, this vlog has dragged on long enough. Ah, oh, I don't even know what title I'm gonna give it. Should it should the crash be the title? The thumbnail? Should I be the clickbait? Carrie crashed her mountain bike. <laughs> I don't know. We've been dating a while now, so now my focus is on. Did you get the shot? Whereas before I would be like. <laughs> Why are you recording? <laughs> See, record that's what me. happens when you date a YouTuber. 